Hey everybody, it's Kristen Ty. What up? Okay, yes, he's back finally. Don't act like I've been gone. Okay, we've been vlogging. No, he ain't been gone. But you know, it's been a while since we've done another Kristen Ty video, so That's right. we're overdue. That's right. Alright, so today we're going to try to do the 50 random facts tag. I'm sorry, uh, was that 50? I thought you said 15. No, 50. <laughs> okay. I said five zero. Yeah. I thought we. I thought you said, "Hey, T, babe, got a great idea. Let's do this fifteen random fact tag." Fifteen? I did not say fifteen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Oh, well, I'm I'm not prepared. Okay. Well, apparently you need to get your list together. <laughs> you got fifteen. <laughs> okay, so the way we were gonna do this is I wrote down some random facts about Ty, and he wrote down some stuff about me. Not enough, apparently. But we'll see. We'll we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right. So, ladies first. Ladies first. Okay. My baby. Okay, so the first random fact about Ty is that he's a TV pauser. I am. I am. I'm a TV pauser. He okay. pauses the TV all the time. And then he decides to recap what we just saw. <laughs> 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 and I'm sitting right there. In my defense, right, we watch some very intriguing shows. So when it goes down, I'm like, oh my gosh, did you just see that? And I'm like, yeah, I just saw that. To make sure that what I found to be impactful, that you think it's impactful as well. <laughs> All right, so while we're on the topic of watching television, all right, we have multiple seats in our house, all right? We got a nice little decent couch, right? And every time you sit on the couch, you are a one cushion sitter. What? Now, I've never seen somebody who claims to have extraordinarily long legs. <laughs> She's like an accordion. She like <laughs> crumples herself up and sits on one cushion, toes and all. I do. I, I literally bunch myself up into like a ball, no matter how big the chair is. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Another random fact is that Ty is a very loud talker, especially on the phone. That's not uh, that's not hidden, right? I think you guys know that, right? <laughs> he is ridiculously loud on the phone. Like sometimes I, you know, I usually use speakerphone. You know that. <laughs> usually when he calls me, I have him on speakerphone because he's very loud. I'm very loud. I'm not gonna lie. I bring a lot of energy to the table. Okay, I'm not afraid to admit that. You're the yin to my yang, my love. You you are a very low talker. So here's the problem, right? I'm loud, so I'm like, babe. What do, you, what, do you, what do you think we should do for dinner? And she's like, oh, well, I think that we should do it. And I'm like, <laughs> what? And she says it the same volume again. It's like, I don't yeah. think you have a problem enunciating. You're very good at enunciating. Just crank up the volume a little bit for me. Maybe it'll influence you too. Well, baby, it's been about 13 years. Has it worked yet? <laughs> no, it hasn't worked. So okay, we keep messing this up. We are working on year 12. We always add an extra year. We've been doing that for like the past year. Well, I look, I look fondly on the time we spent together, and it feels like it's been longer than it actually oh. has. <laughs> Why you not say it like that? <laughs> okay, so another random fact about Ty is that he does not wear matching socks. <laughs> <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't wear matching socks. Now, they will be black socks a lot of times. But they're not the same pattern, and nobody can tell. Or sometimes, <laughs> no, you can tell. Okay, <laughs> if you're close, you can tell. I think that pairing socks together is one of the biggest waste of time. I don't understand why anybody does it. Right? It's like you just put you put the socks on, you put pants over the socks, and the socks go into the shoes. So what happens when you're sitting down and like your pants rise up? Then what? You I mean, got a lighter black sock and a dark black sock. I mean, look, it happens. Okay, I'm not gonna say that doesn't happen. <laughs> All right, so another thing, since we're talking about clothing now, talking about my black socks, every time we're not filming, you dress in all black. <laughs> you dress in all black, come downstairs every day to a chocolate ninja. You dress in all black like she's about to take me out. <laughs> okay, so did you ever think that I wear a lot of black around the house so that when I'm cleaning and stuff, cooking, that I don't, you know, get spots all over me? You can't notice it with black. I mean, I guess I guess you can't notice it. I mean, it, that makes sense, but I, still, sometimes it's just the way that you, you look at us. You know, you look at me and the boys like, Another thing is, you always be like, I'm going to get you. So that's, that's that's one of your favorite <laughs> phrases. She says to everybody in this house, even the cat, I'm going to get you, Chloe. So like, Mike be I running know. around, I'm going to get you, Mike. And if you're dressed like a ninja, you feel like you actually might get us. Like, you got to take somebody out. Okay, so the reason why I do that a lot is because he for some reason, cannot seem to put clean dishes in the drying rack. He wants to leave the clean dishes next to the drying rack. And it's right there. See, now. Uh, Every time. Okay. okay. In defense, again, apparently I'll be defending myself and representing myself <laughs> throughout this video. But I like to have certain dishes that are designated for me, okay? Stingy. I like a certain spoon, okay? <laughs> My spoon's gotta have some weight to it, alright? So some of the other spoons we got, we a little cheap. We got some, <laughs> we got some Dollar General spoons. Enjoy <laughs> like It's really just like formed aluminum foil balls as opposed to like a steel spoon. Okay. I, I like a little bit of weight on my spoon, you know? So I put a spoon to the side 
when nobody else can touch my spoon. So what about the bowl and the cup? Same thing? Oh yeah, yeah. Another random fact about Ty is that he's very stingy with food, but if we have something, like if me and the boys have something, he wants to taste what we have. Okay, just a little taste. I just you know But what? if he has something, he won't share. That's not true. That that's, is true. That's not true. No, see, I plan ahead. I'm calculated. I know exactly how much of something I'm going to eat. Okay, so I have something else written down that's kind of like, it goes along with that. So when we're out, I can't order what he orders, but he wants me to taste what he orders. But I can't order it. Why not? All right, so we've been over this, okay? I don't want your dish to come out looking better than mine. And I have plate envy, okay? Plate envy is real. So to avoid that, I don't want you to know I'm going to order. Now, when it comes out, I do want you to taste it so you can have appreciation for the decisions that I'm making. You know what? Yeah. He knows how to, he knows how to order So what would happen if I would want to get that next time? And you want to get it next time? We can't get it? No. I, I can get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So since we're talking about stinginess, okay? You two have some quirks, okay? She goes to the store. And she buys soda, kind of randomly, right? And it's good soda, a little cherry Coke. Yeah. I love me some cherry Coke. So she'll buy a little Sprite. Yeah. She's still got a whole bottle of Sprite. She buys soda and then takes forever to drink it. Like the Sprite's been in there for like a month. Hasn't <laughs> cracked it. She hasn't cracked it. And then gets upset with me when I'm like, you know, it's been there for a month. Maybe it's up for grabs now. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, it won't be up for grabs. I buy soda sometimes. I don't drink it a lot, but like if I get the urge... For something bubbly. Yeah. Then it's in there. But don't let anybody else get the urge. No. I get, some, I get the urge. Now it's hers. All right. So another thing is around food. Right? Because we love some food. I ain't going <laughs> to lie. Um, but you'll never eat. You don't eat throughout the day. I don't eat throughout the day. Not like I should. No. Nah, because nah. I'm always doing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> She's always doing stuff. So I know. She, so she doesn't eat throughout the day. No. And sometimes she'll eat dinner. But she'll talk about food a lot. Oh, I really need to eat something. <laughs> uh, I, I, I really need to eat something. I really need to eat something. And then it's like it's like eight or nine o'clock, and I'm like, babe, look, I noticed you didn't eat a large dinner. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna get something to eat before we go to bed. She's like, oh no, no, I'll figure something out. So 11:30, we're laying in bed. Man, I'm hungry. <laughs> Can you go downstairs and get me a boost? <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. You want me to run downstairs, right? Throw my robe on it and get you a boost? Yes, I do drink boost shakes every now and then. So what? <laughs> <laughs> I had breakfast, but I usually skip lunch, for real. Okay, break it down. Yeah. What'd you have today, my love? I had some cereal and some toast and an apple. Okay. It's only, what time is it? Yeah, 3 o'clock. <laughs> it's it's 3 o'clock. It's, it's not 3 o'clock. <laughs> it's almost 2 o'clock. Either way, toast? Are you serious? I know, I know. We gotta go to the store, okay? <laughs> okay, so another random fact about Ty is that he takes over the TV, even when he's not home. No, see, that's, that's, that's just an accusation. Okay. How do I do that? I'm not even home. Okay, so we have a DVR. So what he will do is set up the DVR to record multiple programs at one time, too. Okay, that's the max. So nobody can change the channel. So the one time I decide to watch TV, I can't even watch anything because it's set for the two shows that he has pre-recorded. Baby, I didn't know that that bothered you. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh, you did a little rough spot there. Wait, first of all, we have multiple TVs in the house. <laughs> all right, so there's extra TVs. Number two. You don't watch the first 11 episodes or something to miss episode 12? Come on now. He takes over TV off. So is that why when I get home from work, you're always like in bump you mode? Like it's always <laughs> like, I walk through the door and my kids are like, Daddy! And I'm like, hey, what's up, man? Mmm, mmm, you're the man. <laughs> like we have a great time. Then I come to my lovely wife and I'm, I'm like, hey, baby. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> how, how was your day? Good. Get your kids. Get them. <laughs> get them. They're on my nerves, okay? They're okay, so the boys have a lot of energy, so by the time he gets home, I'm just like, I can't. I can't. I wonder it's where your turn. I wonder where they get that energy from. Let me let me guess. Let me guess. They're loud as well. They're loud. <laughs> yes, they are loud. Oh, here we go. Alright, so a couple of random facts about you, my lovely lady. Alright, so you hate being picked up. Yeah, I can't. I cannot. I can't handle it. It's the worst. I kid you not. Like <laughs> even just a little bit. She's like, <laughs> She's like around. She's like freaking out. She grabs stuff. It's bad. It's ugly every time. It's pretty and I, bad. And I'm trying to be romantic and like sweep you off your feet. And all of a sudden, okay. you're bucking. You're falling down. It's a, it's a bad deal. She hates being picked up. Yeah, I can't handle it. <laughs> I can't. Uh, okay. Uh, and another thing is, is anytime like, you know, like today, for example, this happened. I was downstairs. I needed, I needed like her to throw me apart. It was like a little valve stem, right, for the car or something. Oh, so I was like, babe, go ahead, toss it to me. I'm downstairs. She's like, 
I'm, I'll do this. She, she freezes. I She's like, not. I'm uncomfortable with this. <laughs> so, so instead of tossing, every time I ask her to throw me something, right, she always is like hesitant to do it. Yeah, because I don't want to hit him in the head or something. Well, let's talk about your aim. Sometimes <laughs> she's just walking over to me. Now, yeah. today, she chucks this thing, right? <laughs> trying to not hit me in the head. It comes straight to my head. So maybe next time, you want to aim for my head and you'll just miss completely. Okay. So I'm scared to throw stuff, seriously, because I don't want to hurt nobody. I don't trust myself to aim properly, okay? See, now, doesn't she... She considers herself dangerous, <laughs> all right? That's the issue. <laughs> okay, so another random fact about you is the fact that I catch you checking out your muscles randomly. You're not supposed to see that. <laughs> I know, but I see it. Yeah. He goes to the mirror. He's flex, go flex for him. Yeah. What's sure. what I'm talking about? Look, sometimes you know what? When you work hard and you work out, right? You gotta admire what you've created. So yeah, I gotta check it out every now and again. Make sure I'm looking good. It's important to me that I look good for you. If I don't look good for you, <laughs> right? Uh, I'm gonna feel bad. So I'd rather make sure that everything is. You know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you also tend to inform me about what workouts you're doing and your diet changes, which is cool. Yes. But sometimes, like, the diet changes don't be that much different. Like, like it'll be, okay, so I'm eating eight ounces of chicken. So, Chris, I think we're going to change it up. I think we're going to eat seven and a half ounces of chicken. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, no major changes. But yeah. he tells me about each and everything. Well, I'm, I'm sorry for thinking that you may want to keep... Oh, my God. What's going on in my life? Okay, this is my life. Oh, okay. goodness gracious. You sure enough let me know about all your hair regimen. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to do that. Right? And the only thing I've got, look, I've learned some great products. Shout out to Shea Moisture. You know, I love my Shea Moisture. Yeah, it's puffs. It's twist outs. It's braid outs. It's, oh, my gosh, feel this. It's, it's so many things. Okay, I do do that. I, I, I do do that. You make me touch your hair. And I love touching your hair. I do. I, do. I have to have him feel it sometimes because I'm like, oh, is it crunchy? It's crunchy. So, Ty tends to try to soften the blow of his purchases by saying stuff like, oh, I need to get this protein so that it can help my other protein products work better. It's, it, Does that make sense? No. I, all I do is I provide you with some facts to make an informed decision. That's what happens. I that is his way of trying new things <laughs> about making it sound like he really needs it. Okay. Oh, okay. And I'm the only one in the house who does that. And then sometimes he reads the ingredients and it's like literally the same thing. Okay. All right. Well, let's go upstairs. Oh, let's, oh. let's compare, okay, the back no. of, of the rainbow of Shea Moisture products we got upstairs. You right? use them too. I do use them. I do use them. But look. You read the back of this right here, some some yucca and green tea, right? So that ain't yucca. Uh, olive and green tea. All right, so it's olive, lotion. All right, so it's okay. Well, the same. Yeah. This is the same stuff. Yeah, uh, this is the same uh, stuff. It's okay. But either way, it always okay. got the same stuff. Oh, I've I've been waiting to try this product for so long. Oh I yeah. Got one oh yeah. What, what's in it? Shea. Oh, wait, you got that upstairs. <laughs> Sounds like you got that upstairs. Whatever. Yeah, and you know what? You do the same thing. When she goes on her Goodwill hauls, she goes out to Kohl's, buys a bunch of stuff, she'll come home, here's what she'll do. She'll lay out everything on the bed, right? She doesn't like, when I come home, I just put like the stack of clothes that I got, oh, so now I just leave it in the back, throw it in the bed for a little bit. Forever. She'll sprawl everything out, and then it, it's, she starts turning on some club music, and it's fashion club show music? time, okay? What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -mm. I'll be down to dum, 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 dum. Okay. I, go, I, go, I go upstairs and it's fashion show time. She's working the runway, making sure that when she not, spins that you it's are, good. He yeah. a mess. She that is up. not what happens, okay? But what are you talking about? What? I've been listening to some Fred Hammond, okay? All right. Well, maybe not, yeah. not have club music, <laughs> but she, I mean, she, she be jamming you out too, and my, putting on a fashion show. I do not put on a fashion show, but I do try on some stuff and I show him to see if he likes it. Is there anything wrong with that? She looks. It's, maybe she, you don't like she, that? she tried to, yeah, I like it. Okay. She's yeah, she trying to say that it's not, complaining it's, about not, it. it's not a fashion show, but she'd be stepping like I a gazelle. Be step what? Like, a, like, a, like a gazelle, she'd be stepping. I'm not talking about stepping, okay? Yeah. And modeling and stuff. You come home after a fresh haircut. This is another random fact. Yeah. He comes home from a fresh haircut and he's checking himself, okay? Yeah, you, yeah. He claims that he's going to go back. Every couple weeks to keep his hair cut fresh. Well, my intentions are good, right? I intend to stay on top of it. It'd be like four months, y'all. Four months in between haircuts. A beard grown out, hair grown out. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, look, I get to the point where it's overdue. All right, I let it grow out a little too much, and then it's time to go get a fresh cut. But every time I get a fresh cut, I feel good about it. And every like, time we get to haircut, I'm like, oh, you look so cute. Okay. You know, you know what you know what I hear when you say that? Oh, you didn't look cute yesterday. That is not what you hear. That's, okay. <laughs> 
All right, so speaking about how I take care of my hair, sometimes I let it grow out a little bit. Mm-hmm. I just want to let everybody know a random fact about myself, okay? <laughs> so I can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to let it in there. I am the original co-washer, okay? <laughs> I created it back in what? 1999, something like that, <laughs> right? And Chris, when we first got together, used to clown me <laughs> about not shampooing my hair. Conditioner can't get your hair clean. Now what's up? <laughs> about Ty is that he's always hot okay and yes I mean hot in that way but hot seriously burning up sweating hot <laughs> I do overheat so, okay I'm, I'm hot it's to the point where he sleeps with a fan a little mini fan right next to him every night all right so we got we got climate issues okay because you because you're always cold yes. never seen somebody so hot always be so cold what? it's craziness <laughs> I she's always, she's always cold. Right. She's freezing, which is probably why she's the one cushion sitter, because she just sits there and curls up in a little ball. <laughs> she got the heater on all yes, the time. It's cooking. We're marinating right now. Okay? <laughs> it happens. It's real. But the other thing is, when we go to sleep, middle of the night, she's a fireball. Yeah. I don't understand what happens. She's I don't like, know either. Fire. I don't she's get like, it, y'all. Seriously, like, in the middle of the night, I am burning up. But then I still feel cold. Yeah. Like, put my hands. Cold, right? It's a little cold. Exactly. Okay, so another random fact about Ty is that he is a random proposer. Yeah, yeah, you know, and we, we've been married for a while now. He will be out like grocery shopping, and all of a sudden he just gets down on one knee. Like in the middle of the aisle. And people are looking like, what's going on? And I'm like. Yeah, so that's the other thing, right? She gets super shy, yeah. right? You know what? I don't, I don't have any problem with confessing my love, right? So, you know, I like to. Uh, sometimes we're out and about, and she just looks so beautiful. And it, and it hits me, and I'm like, you know what? I wanna marry that chick again. So, <laughs> that yeah. Chick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I want to marry her again. So boom, I'm like, I'm gonna propose and make a scene. And when I try to make a scene, she's like, Get up, get up, get up! Don't do I that. I can't handle it. I just turn, I turn red. I'm he like does. blushing. I'm so nervous. I got, I'll be a nervous wreck, y'all, for real. It's cute. And now we we have the boys there. It's not the boys are like, Daddy, yeah. what are you doing? What's going on? What are you doing? <laughs> the thing is, right? We have multiple bathrooms in our house, but you only use one bathroom in the whole house. <laughs> one bathroom. Why you got call me out like that? I just think it's a little weird. It is weird. Yeah, we got a couple different yeah, toilets. Yeah, we have a bathroom like right there on the yeah. first floor, and I always go all the way upstairs. Always. To our room. Always. I don't know. You know what? I do know why I do that. Because y'all are a mess, okay? Especially the boys. And how many times I clean it, I go in there, and it's still a mess. I mean, look, it's it's tough, okay? We we try, you know, you throw some stuff, some Apple Jacks in there, let them get their aim together. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe we gotta put them back through it. Maybe we gotta go back to put little targets in there, okay? Every now and again. So we got some more facts, but this is a long video. Yes, okay. Yeah, it's, man. Long. Yeah, it's a long video. So we're going to wrap it up. Hope you all enjoyed the video. We'll see you soon in another one. Take care. Okay.